because six years ago we started it and uh, just as an experiment really because I like yeah. I like horror films and like going to horror film yes. festivals and being in where we are in Mid Wales it's it yeah. turned into a three day three day event collection of all the things that I love so Vincent yeah. Price movies you know Hammer movies some new movies and just just a little fun event yeah. um, obviously because I work in the Avarice with Art Centre and we have got a theatre and a, and, a, and a music hall and things like that and it's bringing that into into the festival as a whole. I mean, as I said before, you know, I like the cult, I, I like the classic films, the cult films, yeah. and it's a horror festival. So we should do more than just show a film, you know, and talk to a guest. We should do more. So I think every year is so different. Um, obviously, this year we grow to to a six day festival, uh, just because we've got so much on and so many. Uh, special events um, that we almost needed an extra day to show all the films that we wanted to. We had a ball last night, um, it was you know rock bands, Devilish Presley came, um, there's also been talks, Q&A's, you get to hang out with the actual actors and directors of the films as well afterwards in the bar. There's such a huge variety of different movies here, we even had a horror musical, there were some comedies there, there was some really raw stuff here. So although we always have a bit more of a horror slant, um, in recent years we, we've slightly widened our, our kind of um, our remit for, for what films that we accept. Like, I, I think Some Guy Who Kills People has been, like, it deserves to be talked about, but also um, Inbred, Devil's Bridge um, and Village of Shadows as well, and they're all so different that it's difficult to kind of say which is an absolute favourite. Um, and occasionally there's, there's a, a kind of discovery that we make um, and so it's really nice when we've got a UK premiere that we can say actually this is a film we really enjoyed. There's been a theatre performance, uh, we've had a, a, a long and tedious talk from myself. We have got the passion and you know, the, the fun of what we do and it really shows people come away again with a great experience. Yeah. It hasn't cost them the earth. We, I would say we get a mixture of, of familiar faces and new faces. Um, it's really nice. Um, seeing uh, a film accepted by a genre audience yes. um, and I think festival audience is a fantastic one to watch some of these films in. Because it's so, like, it's a nice audience, so you get, you get to know everyone and you can chat to people about the stuff you've enjoyed. The way it's run, um, everything, the organisation is just um, amazing. They have like daily sheets that come out that, that have people's tweets on that are going on during the actual film festival, which is just a really nice. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of the, of the classic horror films and Vincent Price has been such an iconic figure um, with me when I'm growing up. Yeah. And, you know, I'd say most people have seen at least one Vincent Price movie, even without knowing it. It's his centennial year this year, so he would have been 100 years old. And I contacted Victoria Price, his daughter, and you know, just off a you know, small festival in Wales, a lot, lot of energy and fun, and you know, would you like to, to come? And I didn't think she would. Yeah. And she wrote back and she was over the moon. She was absolutely delighted. is going to be one of the coolest horror movie festivals around. And I have to say it's been absolutely fantastic. ABBA used to be my favourite Swedish band but ABBA is now my favourite place in Wales. I'm going to come back to it at Brisbane, to Abattoir. Overall, thoroughly recommend it. See you next year. Monster, you can't stop. This is one monster you